So welcome to my bathroom. Today we're going to do a skincare video. Woo! I know you guys have been asking me to do a morning skincare routine or skincare routine period. So I'm going to give you my morning skincare routine. So and this is no makeup on. So let's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, that's so this is usually how I do my morning into like the afternoon kind of routine-ish. You guys know I do have dry skin, so it's annoying as heck. Um, it's, it has its good and its bad things. Good things is that your makeup stays on very well. Bad things is that you're, you wrinkle prematurely, which stinks. But that's why skincare exists, because of that. So first things first, I want to put my hair back because I just did it and I don't want it to get messed up. So, so put your hair back. Don't mind my armpits. You know, we all got them. First product that I'm going to mention is one of my favorites and I'm sure a lot of you guys have used it before. It's the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. These are my absolute favorite makeup wipes ever because they are super gentle on my skin. My skin is super sensitive. They feel really, really nice on the skin. They, I like the way they smell, which is another thing. I'm really weird with smells, so. I like the way they smell and I just never got irritated by them and I just really like them. So that's my favorite and they take off makeup super, super well. Waterproof, everything, like takes it off like that. So the first step is that I wipe off any makeup that I had on before. So let's do that really quick, just in case. You know, some makeup didn't come off last night. I really didn't wear a lot of makeup last night, so. The most annoying thing to get off, I feel like, is mascara. All right, now, my favorite cleanser right now is Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. It's this right here. It's the most amazing, soothing cleanser that I've ever used, hands down. So I'm going to put this on my face now. So what I usually like to do is remove any jewelry that I have because I don't want it to get like ruined. So I do a few pumps. One, two is enough. And I usually like to use warm, like a mixture of warm and cold water. So I kind of just, that's a pretty sound. So I kind of just rub it on my hands, get some water in there and just kind of rub it all over the face. I even do the neck too. I even get up in the hairline a little bit because I've noticed that I break out there from not cleaning that area enough. Okay, that is pretty good. It's gonna rinse now. And then just pat dry. Oh, this towel's wet. I didn't get another one. But that is what I do on the daily in the morning. So I also exfoliate a couple times a week. And my favorite exfoliator, if you guys don't know, it is the Clean Clear Deep Cleanse Exfoliator. It's a daily exfoliator. It's absolutely amazing. I've been using it for literally like at least seven to 10 years. I used it throughout high school. I used it literally ever. I would use it every day. And my skin stayed really clear with it. It didn't feel dry at all, which I really, really was worried about. I absolutely praise that cleanser. It's an amazing exfoliator that doesn't dry your skin. It's super gentle for sensitive skin too. If I don't do this in the morning, I'm most likely using that. I'm most likely exfoliate like three to four times a week. I used to do it every day. But unless I feel like I'm breaking out somewhere, I'll definitely do the exfoliating treatment. But I always go to this in the morning just because it suits the skin. If it feels dry or anything, I feel like it kind of hydrates it. So, yeah. So right after the cleanser, I like to put on a serum and then a moisturizer. So the serum and moisturizer that I use is from Kate Somerville. It is a high-end brand. You don't have to spend your money on this, but I... As a makeup artist, I probably spend the most amount of money, besides like with my clients and kit stuff, on skincare. 
Uh, I'm very lucky to get a lot of products sent to me. I'm very, very humble for that. So the money that I usually spend goes to my skincare. Kate Somerville is honestly one of my favorite lines. I got introduced to her line when I was in Nordstrom when I worked there. And I just would use her stuff every day. Like I would like walk in and put on some cream, you know, put on some on my hands and stuff like that. Usually my face was already beeped, so I didn't like touch my face. But I got recommended to this by my boss and she was just like, you're gonna love it, it's amazing. You need to use it. So I started using it and I just fell in love. Like I said, it is pricey. I totally get it, but your skin is so important and I do recommend that you do put a little bit of buck into your skincare because it's just your skin. It's so important. It's the base. It's more important than makeup, honestly. First, what I like to do is use the Kate Somerville Quench Serum. It's this guy right here. It goes like such a long way. You only need one pump. One, one little pump. And I just put it in like my driest areas. Forehead. They always say to like bring the skin up when you're putting on serums and creams. I would let this sit in for about a minute because you kind of want that hydrating serum to kind of sit in for a little bit, get down into the pores and like really hydrate you. So I kind of let it sit for like a minute. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite masks, okay? The first one is the Glam Glow Hydrating Thirsty Mud. This is absolutely one of my favorite masks to use. I have the little guy because I usually bring the little guy like with me on um, trips and stuff like that. So I always get a little one just to like bring with me. I love the way it smells. You know when you smell something and it brings you back to like where you were? This, is, this does this for me. I was in Disney with my family and we all did masks one night and I all, we all used this little tiny jar. And it just reminded me of that. This is an amazing mask, especially for dry skin. I love the way it hydrates. I put it on at night and I just leave it on. I don't wash it off. I completely leave it on. When you wake up the next morning, your skin feels amazing. Another one of my favorite masks is the Biobel masks. 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 They are amazing and they're so cutely designed and they're one of the sheet masks, so it's super, super easy to put on. This one is the Stay Gorgeous mask. I love this one, it hydrates and nourishes. It has almond oil in it and vitamin E, which is just exactly what my skin needs. I have so many, so many cute ones and they're just so fun and funky and I just love them and super easy to put on and I usually leave this on for about like 20 to 25 minutes and my skin feels so nice and supple and pretty and amazing. Another mask that I've really loved is from Dr. Brandt. It is the Needles No More 3D Filler Mask by Dr. Rant. Um, you just leave this on. So it comes with a little brush and what you do is you just kind of put it in the areas where you feel like you get the most wrinkles, where you like kind of, so I would say like the forehead, where you really, really use expression. So the forehead, in between the brows, the smile lines, by the eyes of course. And yeah, so you kind of just put that in those areas and the hollows of your face too, so I always put it like on the hollows of my cheeks. And it helps to really prevent, and helps to really plump up the skin and make the lines less visible, which I like. This is definitely set it. So I'm going to go on with my Kate Somerville Nourish Moisturizer. You guys know I use this all the time. So I'm just going to, I actually need to get more of this, pump about like two squirts up and just moisturize my face. Always bring it down to the neck a little bit too. And put it on my forehead as well. I love the way this stuff smells too. It smells amazing. So I let that sit in just a little bit. So you always want your moisturizers and serums to sit in so you really get the full potential of the skincare and really get that full experience. But anyway, after this sets in, I'm going to use my Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. This is my favorite eye cream right now and this is the only one that I really use. It's by Tarte, isn't it? Now Tarte is amazing skincare. I love their makeup but their skincare is also amazing. It's a very creamy consistency 
and it just goes on the skin super smoothly. I need to take my finger and just kind of put that under there. Put it all around this entire eye area. Yeah, there you go. And I usually just take, like I take it that much. Take that much, which really is not a lot, so. And that is more than enough for this entire area of the eye. This is so moisturizing though, I love this stuff. So I try to prep my skin like this every day. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but at least wash your face and moisturize it. That is my recommendation for you. So after that, I'm basically done. The only thing that I have left is to moisturize my lips. And I like to use Tarte's Lip Quench Rescue in Nude, which is my favorite one. And I just put that on, just like that. Mm. Probably my favorite lip balm, I guess you could say. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That is my morning skincare routine going into the afternoon. You know, I make sure that my skin is super moisturized and prepared before I put makeup on. Right now, I'm going to go on Instagram Live and I'm going to do a tutorial on there. So, yeah. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that. Um, you can see my little name right here. So that's it, you guys. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you have enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, also let me know what you guys want to see in the next coming videos. I have a few ideas in my head, but you know, I would really like to know what you guys would like to see. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.